Good evening. Tonight I'd like to update you on our continuing healthcare pre preparations and on one issue that I know is a real concern for islanders, and that's testing. So far, more than a thousand islanders have been tested for coronavirus through the UK laboratory at Collendale. We've been reporting the results of those tests as soon as we get them. And as of today, we've had 96 positive results 872 negative results, and we are awaiting the results of 247 tests. Testing of who has the virus is important because it enables our health service to provide the right care to those who have contracted the virus, and it also enables us to identify who needs to go into isolation until they are no longer infectious. So we've been relying on this laboratory in London to do the tests for Jersey, and as you know, there have been delays in getting the results because it is very overstretched. So we've been taking steps to establish a testing regime in the island so we will not have to rely on UK labs. And Jersey has had our own testing facility for many years, and we've ordered 5,000 coronavirus test kits to use with our own diagnostic machine. Now on Monday, based on the information we had at the time, I said we hoped that those test kits would be here within about 48 hours. Unfortunately, that is no longer the case. Our shipment of 5,000 test kits is on its way, but it's coming from California via the Netherlands and the UK. And we're working very closely with the supplier and international authorities to ensure that those kits will be delivered as soon as possible. And we've arranged for them to be supplied in multiple separate batches to speed up the delivery. Now, I won't give an estimated date because the timetable is not in our control, but I will update you as soon as they arrive. Now, I know that you, like me, will be very frustrated and highly disappointed that these tests have not already arrived. But I really want to thank the officers who've been working really hard with the supplier to make sure that Jersey remains a priority in this global supply chain. Now, there is some positive news about testing that I want to share with you. So as well as testing whether people actually have coronavirus, there is a completely different test which checks whether someone has contracted and recovered from COVID-19 and has therefore, hopefully, developed antibodies, giving them immunity into the future. Now, many people who contract the virus have mild or no symptoms, which means that essential workers may be carrying COVID-19 without knowing it. Accurate antibody testing will provide the vital information we need to see how coronavirus is spreading in Jersey, as well as potentially enabling us to relax restrictions for people who've developed immunity. So, I'm really pleased to tell you that we've est we're establishing an on-island on testing programme and have bought 150,000 tests from a UK supplier. So the first batch, which will be of 50,000 tests, is due to arrive this month. The test is a simple pinprick performed by trained staff. Essential frontline workers will be tested first towards the end of April. And because Jersey is small, we aim to roll out the testing program to all households on the island. By testing all essential workers, we'll know who's become immune and can work without being a risk to others and we will retest islanders throughout the epidemic to understand how their circumstances and those of the island change. With this testing in place, the virus won't be able to hide from us, and it won't be able to spread unchecked in our community. By testing all households, perhaps more than once, we'll be able to create a picture of how the virus is spreading and this will help the government to plan any changes to the restrictions on the public and on businesses. But I want to be really clear, this won't affect the stay home instruction in the coming days and weeks. It remains in force. And I know this will be hard for Islanders, but only by staying home and in your own garden if you have one for most of the time, and by adhering to the two hours rule, can you ensure that you're reducing the unnecessary risk. Testing is only one part of our approach to reducing the impact of coronavirus in Jersey. Earlier today, Dr Muscat gave an update on our results 
and the island's position on the infection curve. And his presentation is available to you all on our YouTube channel. So go into YouTube, just search for Government of Jersey, and you'll find it uh, on one of the drop-downs in there. It's also available on our social media channels. And we are working closely with the media to cover the presentations and want to thank them for dialing into our conferences, asking questions, and keeping you, the public, so well informed. I'm hugely grateful to Dr Muscat, as I know Islanders are, for his hard work alongside that of all of his medical colleagues. It's his advice and his understanding of how viruses spread that underpin the measures we've taken to protect our community. We must and we will continue to follow medical advice if we are to protect our vulnerable friends and family and reduce the impact on our community. So it's vital that we all stay home and follow social distancing when we go outside for our two hours of shopping and exercise. This weekend will be the first of many tests of our resolve, but I'm confident that Islanders will meet that challenge and keep one another safe by staying home. It is vitally important that we keep you informed about our efforts to manage the impact of coronavirus in Jersey, including testing, case numbers, and the steps we're taking to protect jobs and livelihoods. So I'll continue to publish daily updates whenever business allows. Now, tomorrow morning, you'll be getting a live update from the Chief Executive, Charlie Parker, the Director General of Justice and Home Affairs, Julian Blaisby, and the Chief of Police, Robin Smith. And they'll discuss what's happening behind the scenes and the structures that the government has put in place to coordinate our emergency response to support islanders through the whole of this pandemic. As I've said many times, thank you for your patience and your cooperation as you continue to stay at home. It will make the biggest difference of all. Please support one another. Call, Skype or FaceTime to check in with friends and your family. And you can call our, our helpline on double four double five double six uh, for advice. And don't forget to contact your parish hall. And finally, on behalf of all Islanders, I want to thank everyone in government and in the community who is working to keep our island running and all of us safe. People are working extraordinarily long hours away from their families at night and at the weekends too to make sure we're as prepared as we can be for the rise in infection and the pressures that will come on our health services. They come to work for you, so please stay home for them. Please stay home and save lives. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Stay safe.